Deco this year brings many different challenges, and one of those being how do you bring the artifact game pieces into your robot? We check with our Robot 30 Hour teams here, specifically three of them that are building a sweeper type intake. So you're going to learn more about some of their progress. And we're only about a day in as we're filming this, since he seems to have been building incredible machines to showcase to you and show them what they've been learning so far and maybe how they're going to improve as well. So take a look at each one of these three teams and their different approaches to sweeper intakes coming up here on FUN. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all things FTC. Teams who are looking for inspiration in Decode can check out Animark's Robits Core Kit and FTC Starter Bot, which are designed with usability and accessibility in mind. And check out some of their new components suitable for any FTC robot. Head on over to Animark.com to find solutions that fit your team. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. So as you can see, we have a surgical, surgical um, tube intake here, which is uh, attached to a motor and a rec shaft, which spins in the motor into these where the gecko wheel, the gecko fly wheels push it up and it stores it there so then the gecko wheels can launch it. So initially we actually tried intaking with gecko wheels uh, in the front, but the problem was that the gecko wheels weren't able to reach, uh, reach the, the artifacts and that was a major issue for us then because then we couldn't in intake it. So. And as we went through, we realized the surgical in, uh, tubing intake could also go into the holes and pull it in. And we decided on this uh, long tube-like thing so we could store three, three balls at a time, maximizing our speed. And as you can see, uh, the ball goes in and it can go into the first set of five wheels. And then it goes, uh, and then as another one comes, it pushes it up and stores it there. So actually, you see this outside plastic cover? It was initially not there, so we had a major problem of when the third one came, it would launch out. So we added the third one, so, uh, the plastic shield on top to keep the ball from flying. And that's how our robot now is able to collect three balls relatively consistently. And now we actually have managed to shoot from the far distance and the close distance. Uh, we have two separate buttons, so I think we can shoot from anywhere, essentially. So yeah, that's our intake. Uh, so this is our robot. One unique feature we have right now is this intake with three flaps. Uh, we originally wanted an active because it felt like the most efficient way. And our active was a little bit too complacent to begin with, but we started adding more duct tape. And you see like these so that it actually increases. And we have a torque motor on there so that we can actually grab the balls quickly and it just goes straight into our outtake system. So we're able to cycle them pretty quickly as long as we're able to drive them. If you guys want to demonstrate it. Okay, nice. Solid. Solid, solid. Okay, nice, nice. Actually cooking so hard right now. Why do you just have the um, outtake spinning constantly? You can do it, Rylan. What is this? What is this? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we need the 18 inch thing is huge. That's not one of them. And then is this something that you need Yeah, currently we're trying to overcome the 18 inch limit because it's very hard to make an effective mechanism without having it stretch over that limit. Stop running. Okay. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. Here we go. Okay, we go. This is not a good Okay. Um, hi, I'm Caleb. I'm part of Team 13201 Hazmat. And uh, here's a robot. We have a, a roller intake on the front with surgical tubing. We have a 435 motor uh, on it, and it's it's able to intake the balls pretty fast. And it holds all three of our balls on our uh, ramp system. 
in a past iteration we had was we used to have the shaft mounted low to where the, the ball would climb over the shaft and uh, roll on like belts that would be going up. But instead we changed and uh, mounted upwards, which uh, allows us to keep them held on our ramp system and in place for our shooter. So see, we can easily just run up and get it onto our uh, ramp system. Yeah, go. It holds it in place for our servo to be able to send it. See, the, the roller right now is holding all three balls in consecutive order. And then <clears throat> this keep, keeps it to where we can shoot when at any given time, move around the field, gives us the versatility to control when we need. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and frontrunners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Animark is your one-stop shop for all things FTC. Teams who are looking for inspiration in Decode can check out Animark's Robits Core Kit and FTC Starter Bot, which are designed with usability and accessibility in mind. And check out some of their new components suitable for any FTC robot. Head on over to Animark.com to find solutions that fit your team.